statement of Jordan Lemma on the basis of this diagram is if if R is a radius of semicircle. semicircle with center at origin in the upper half complex plane and fz function fz satisfies the following conditions what are the condition number 1 is fz is analytic fz is analytic in upper half plane except at a finite number finite number of poles finite number of poles second is if z has no pole on real axis real axis means x axis no pole on x axis third and final condition is mod of fz tends to zero as r radius is very large tends to infinity for theta is less than pi and greater than 0 0 then then limit r tends to infinity integral e raised to the power i a z f of z dz is equal to 0 where a is a positive real number a is a positive real number so <clears throat> the three conditions that is uh, analytical first condition is analytic second is the pole pole regarding the case and the third is mod f if z is zero as r tends to infinity r tends to infinity uh, means infinitely large space covered so in this case if it is happen so large integration e raised to the power i z this is the basis function of this function is zero so this one is the statement of the uh, jordan jordan lemma now the proof proof is very simple proof of jordan lemma any point on the semi circle r is z that is z is equal to r e raised to the power i theta and mod z is equal to r dz is r e raised to the power i theta i d theta 
i d theta and mod dz is r mod d theta r mod d theta consider the expression consider the expression this is modulus this is r e raised to the power i a z f of z dz f of z dz is equal to less than integral mod e raised to the power i a z dot mod f of z dot mod d z dot mod d z and <clears throat> this can be written as this can be written as e raised to the power a i a z z is considered as cos theta plus i sin theta cos theta plus i sin theta this is mod f of z dz mod of dz so the function e raised to the power i a cos theta plus i sin theta is expressed as the mod value of this mod value of this is e raised to the power i a i a and here it is cos theta and this is e raised to the power i into i this is i square a sin theta i square a sin theta and this is this value is this cos theta i cos theta is 1 and here it is minus a sin theta minus a sin theta so we have this integration of r e raised to the power i i a z f z d z is less than equal to 0 to pi and this mod e i theta and this value is this value is minus a sin theta this value is minus a sin theta mod f f of z and z is this is z is r sin theta r e raised to the power i theta and mod z is r d theta r d theta so we can choose we can choose r large enough large enough so that mod of f r e raised to the power theta is is equal to epsilon less than epsilon where where epsilon is epsilon is so small and 
प्री एसाइन प्री एसाइन पॉजिटिव क्वांटिटी प्री एसाइन पॉजिटिव क्वांटिटी प्री एसाइन पॉजिटिव क्वांटिटी एज दिस इज मॉड ऑफ आर ई रेस्ट टू पॉर आई जेड एफ जेड डी जेड लेस देन एफ साइनल आर जीरो टू पाई ई रेस्ट टू दी पॉर माइनस ए आर साइन थीटा डी थीटा पॉर माइनस ए आर साइन थीटा डी थीटा जीरो टू पाई बाई टू ई रेस्ट टू दी पावर माइनस ए आर साइन थीटा इंटू सो इन दिस केस वॉट वी फाइंड दिस इज साइन थीटा एंड वाई इज टू थीटा फ्रॉम दी प्लॉट्स of y is sin theta and y is equal to 2 theta by pi is clear that in the range zero to theta by by 2 sin theta is greater than 2 theta by pi 2 theta by pi and this is something here it is theta and this is y this is the point this is the line here we say unity and this this line y is equal to 2 theta by pi and y is equal to sin theta y is equal to sin theta so this line is intersection of y is equal to 2 theta over pi so 2 over pi is the gradient of the theta something like y is equal to mx y is equal to mx and this y is equal to sin theta this is 0 here it is pi and this is pi by 2 this is pi by 2 so <clears throat> this is the sin curve half of the sin curve so we have r e raised to the power i a j f z d z mod is less than equal to 2 epsilon r 0 to pi by 2 and this e raised to the power e raised to the power minus a r and sin theta in place of sin theta we can have 2 theta by r d theta 2 theta by r d theta so the value of this that is 0 to pi by 2 e raised to the power minus a r 2 theta by R d theta. 
So this is cancelled. Two. This is two theta over pi, and here it is r. So this value is this value is e raised to the power. The, if you integrate this one, so e raised to the power minus two. A theta r by pi divided by minus two a r two a r by pi limit zero to pi by two limit zero to pi by two. So this is minus two a r pi. Inside the bracket, this theta is pi by two. So e raised to the power minus two a r by pi into pi by two minus e raised to the power minus zero. So this pi by two cancel. So it is e raised to the power. This is nothing but this is nothing but pi. Pi minus pi upon two a r e raised to the power minus a r minus one minus a r minus one. Or this is this is pi upon two a r one minus e raised to the power minus a r. So this this whole This whole part is integrating as this one, so we can substitute this value along with two epsilon. So substituting the integral value, integral value in the given. in the given expression as in the given expression as this is mod of r e raised to the power i a z f of z dz is less than equal to Two epsilon r pi upon two a r one minus e raised to the power a r. This mod. So this two r two r cancel. Then this is equal to epsilon pi upon a. This is epsilon. This is pi. This is a epsilon pi a one minus e raised to the power a r. And taking limit, taking limit of the above expression. Limit r tends to infinity mod of r e raised to the power minus e raised to the power i a z f of z d z this tends to zero tends to zero. Because of this expression, e raised to the power minus a r that is infinity, so it is one minus one is zero. E raised to the power zero is one. One minus one is zero. Okay. 
thus the integral of r e raised to the power i a z f of z dz is equal to zero as when r tends to infinity this is this is the jordan lemma now this jordan lemma can be can be more analytically understood with the equation uh, the integral the integral 0 to infinity x sin mx a square plus x square here it is dx m greater than 0 given integral is imaginary part of the imaginary part of the integral Zero to infinity, e raised to the power i m z into z a square plus z square d z. D z. this is x this is zero here it is r on this contour x dash where c is a closed contour consisting of semi circle and real axis from x is equal to minus r to x is equal to r this is minus this is plus solution according to cauchy residue theorem we have integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power i m z into z upon a square plus z square d z <coughs> plus minus r2 R e raised to the power i m x into x upon a square plus x square d x. This is the imaginary, and this part is two pi i summation of r plus. Where this r plus is sum of residue of f z at its pole 
at u h p poles u h p the three conditions let us test first is f z is analytic f z is analytic second condition is if z is equal to z upon a square plus z square pole z is equal to plus minus i a minus i a in the upper half plane z is plus i a z is plus i and the third one third condition is the third condition is you see mod of f of z into z upon a square plus z square tends to zero at mod z tends to infinity that is r tends to infinity limit z tends to infinity f of z is equal to limit z tends to infinity z upon a square plus a square is equal to 0 this this lemma lemma states that when r tends to zero and that is a hence hence by jordan's lemma integral r e raised to power i m z z upon a square plus z square dz is equal to 0 and minus r to plus r e raised to the power i m x x x square plus a square dx is equal to 2 pi i summation r plus thus thus we can holds for r tends to infinity so on. So from minus infinity to plus infinity, e raised to the power i m x x a square plus x square d x is equal to two pi i summation r plus. Now residue z is equal to i a. Phi z is equal to limit z tends to i a z minus i a z this is z minus i a z plus i a is equal to i a upon two i a that is one by Z. So, res residue Z is equal to I A phi Z is equal to limit Z tending to I A. Z minus I A e raised to the power I M Z 
this is z z minus i a z plus i a that is phi z is equal to e raised to the power i m z z upon j square plus a square and this is nothing but 1 by 2 e raised to the power m a so by condition 2 we have minus infinity to plus infinity e raised to the power i m x x upon x square plus a square dx is equal to 2 pi i into 1 by 2 minus m a that is pi i e raised to the power minus m a. The imaginary part minus infinity to plus infinity x sine mx a square plus x square dx is equal to pi e raised to the power minus a that is that is minus a to plus a f of x dx is equal to 2 of 0 to a f of x dx that is f of x is equal to f of minus x so 0 to infinity x sin mx a square plus x square dx is 1 by 2 pi e raised to the power minus a. This e raised to the power minus a this e raised to the power minus a is one part and the other part is from minus infinity to plus infinity cos x cos x dx is divided by x square plus y square x square plus b square where a is greater than b and both are greater than 0 that is the positive and then the positive case can be analyzed the positive case can be analyzed in the same way as it is as it is in the same case something like this this is 0 here it is x x dash minus r plus r and this is curve upper half complex plane upper half complex plane so in this case consider let us consider the expression Which kind of expression f of z is equal to e raised to the power i z and z square plus a square and z square plus b square. And this is z is equal to plus minus i a and z is equal to plus minus i b. These are two simple poles. These are two simple poles and we can have the factorials along with the partial fraction and that can be solved as it was solved in the earlier case. 
So this is about the example one in the uh, Jordan lemma.